Hey, what's up you guys? It's Keto Granny and this is probably one of the first days that I have come outside to actually sit on the porch. It's nice. It's going to be a nice day today and I think that I will actually get out and walk a little bit today. I haven't been walking in about, it's been about two or three days outside. Because I hadn't felt the best, but I feel a lot better today. So I'm going to get out and uh, smell some of the air, get some vitamin D. I uh, have been inside under the weather. I'm doing a lot better. Still sticking to my keto. And as you can see, it is working. Still sticking to my keto. I like to tell people, stay focused. Stay focused on whatever you are doing. Your progress is not going to be the same as anyone else's. Keto, when I found keto, it's like I found a different way of eating. Yet, I was eating that way already. I just had to incorporate a lot more things into that lifestyle. I had to switch the oils that I was cooking with. I no longer use vegetable oil. I use coconut oil. I use ghee. I use butter a lot. I use avocado oil. Um, I use bacon grease. I have lard. I haven't used any lard in a while, but I have a, a block of lard. These are things that you can use that you've probably been taught, hey, these things have too much fat in them. They're not good for you. But fat is good for you. And what I do when I get hungry, I add in more fat to my diet instead of more protein. There was a point in a time when I started doing the protein spray modified fast and I started adding in more protein and I still do that sometimes. But it's not something that I do on the regular because to me my protein turns into glucose. You can eat too much protein. Now if you're doing keto you want to keep your protein at a moderate amount. That's really the best way to do it. And you don't want to always eat a bunch of fat. You may start off eating, uh, a, I don't want to say copious amounts or you know, more fat than you're used to adding into your diet, but eventually you just want to get the fat that you're eating in your diet from like the proteins that you're eating. And what I mean by that, meat has fat in it. So, a lot of the fats that I eat, I count um, in my protein. Um, I may use a little bit to cook with, and usually it's like a spray, because that way I don't have to use as much. Also, there was a time when I was eating a lot of things like wraps, and using tortilla wraps and stuff like that. Now, I still have some of those in my refrigerator, but now what I prefer to do is I don't use a lot of wraps and when I do I try to use like those egg wraps are really good um, they are very very uh, low carb no carb and then I like to use a cheese wrap a lettuce wrap a cabbage wrap there are a lot of things that you can use for wraps that are really low carb that are very nutritious and that are good for you now, one thing that I am stuck on is occasionally I've gotten lazy where I don't make a lot of the protein bread or the PSMF bread. I feel like that's a great addition to my diet, adding in that protein bread. But um, there are times when you don't feel like cooking. There are some times when I just don't feel like getting in the kitchen and doing a lot anymore. Um, I'll be 67, God, in about whew, less than about two weeks. So I thank God that I have lived, you know, to, to be this age. Um, I wish that I had started taking care of myself earlier in life, but it was in the 60s. I think I was around 62 when I found the ketogenic diet. I have lost over 100 pounds that I have been able to keep off. I lost up to like 137, close to 140 pounds, but I gained 30 something pounds back and I've been working to get that off. I am close to, you know, reaching my goal to get back down to where I was, down in my 220s, uh, down in there. But everything takes time. And uh, like I said, my progress is not going to be like your progress. Your progress 
is not going to be like mine. But if you stay focused, you are going to get there. Um, I like to eat things like, uh, now like today I have a taste of some egg rolls and I have a couple of uh, wraps in there, the uh, car mission wraps. I would probably use those and I will make me a couple of egg rolls and put them in the refrigerator. Now I love to eat red egg rolls. What I'll probably do today is go to the store and get some cabbage and I'll use cabbage leaves um, to make my egg rolls. There goes a squirrel. Hardly ever see a squirrel scampering down here through the, um, through the walkway here. So a beautiful squirrel, beautiful, beautiful, bushy, bushy tail with a little white on it. <laughs> I guess he's looking for some nuts. I should have threw some out for him. For him. But I'm sticking, I'm staying to my diet. I am feeling a lot better today. Um, I don't know. Feels good out here. I kind of just uh, got ready for today. Um, keeping everything simple. But I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to eat this morning. I like everybody else. I get tired of eating bacon and eggs also. Now, earlier this week, I did make like a shortbread for breakfast where I could add in a couple of other things with that and have that to eat. Um, but I'm not in the taste for anything that's a little sweet or anything. Uh, I don't know. But I'm going to come up with something, and if I don't, then I'll just have a cup of, cup of uh, black coffee with a little bit of heavy uh, whipping cream in there, about two teaspoons, and a little bit of my zero sugar, or she said, about two teaspoons. And I'll just sip on that until this afternoon, and then I'll figure out what I eat. Now, if you're not hungry, don't eat. A lot of people feel like just because they're on the schedule that they need to eat all the time, they want to keep that schedule as far as eating. You don't really have to do that. If you don't feel like you're hungry, don't eat. If you don't feel hungry, don't eat. Don't make yourself eat. Now, there were times that I did do that, uh, and I still do that sometimes when I get ready to go to bed. Like last night, I went to bed, and I didn't really eat. I had my husband bring me some chicken strips, and I told him I wanted a couple of hush puppies from the restaurant. So, I think I took a bite of the chicken strip, and I decided that I had already waited, and it was like nine something, or, yeah, about nine something last night, or close to 10. And I just didn't want to mess up that little fasting thing that I had going on there for later in the evening trying to wait for him to eat my food. So I just had basically one meal yesterday and then I think a snack like some pecans. But when you're hungry, don't eat. And you're going to get a lot of benefits from that. So also remember, if you're doing intermittent fasting, you want to make sure that you are doing intermittent fasting if you are doing keto. Those two go together. They go hand in hand. Keto and intermittent fasting. If you combine these two, you're going to have some good results. And it's going to make the keto work a lot faster. Now, people think the intermittent fasting is a way of dieting. It is not. Intermittent fasting is a pattern of eating. Simple as that. Intermittent fasting is when you don't eat and when you don't eat. And during that time you are fasting. So during the time that you're not eating, this is called fasting. And it's called intermittent fasting because it's not something that's continuous all the way through the day. You do break it with the eating window. And if you can keep that eating window small, the smaller that you have that eating window, the more results and benefits you're going to get from your intermittent fasting. And keto, it takes about 18 hours for a person to start um, getting the benefits of autophagy. So if you could go about 18 hours a day without eating and then have that other, is it six? That other six hours as far as your eating window, you're gonna have some great results with 18 and six. I found out the, the most popular intermittent fasting pattern is 16 and eight. That's something that I do on the daily. But there are a lot of days that I can fast a little longer. And I do add that in and try to get those extra benefits. So your lifestyle is going to be your lifestyle. You're going to have to do what works for you. You're going to have to 
get a schedule that works for you and that's what you stick to. But this is Keto Granny. I just wanted to sit out here on the porch and visit with you for just a moment to tell you that when some days just seem like you're just not going to be your best. When things seem like everything is just piling down on you and you don't know what to do, pray about it. Turn to God. I turn to God for everything. And sometimes um, it just seems like um, I'm talking with a friend and it seems like I know everything is going to be all right. And then sometimes I get kind of a how do I want to say I wonder about myself why do I feel like everything's just going to be all right all the time and it's because I believe in God I'm a Christian and I try to live the best life that I can I'm not that I can I'm not saying I live the most perfect life far from that but I do try to do the best that I can do so I want to say start your day the right way if you can start it with a prayer that's something that I try to do every day read the Bible so this is Keto Granny saying, have a great day, everybody, and I'm going to check back in with you later. Let's all stay focused on our goals, and let's get there. Bye-bye.